Hey guys, it's Jasmine here, and I am still recording a little bit more of Oxygen Not Included. The last time we left off, we've done this whole area up here. I kind of want to fix it just a tiny bit. Like, uh, before I left off last time, I had set down a dig order and a tile order right here, just so we can have some of that hydrogen push up, because I'm pretty sure this is going to be very pressurized over time, to the point where a lot of that hydrogen is going to start seeping down. Um, once we get, like, this area nice and big um, and open, we'll, we'll probably actually... Um, be able to fully enclose this area and then just completely deactivate these electrolyzers. Because right now you can actually see that we have oxygen pumping everywhere. We still have a lot of hydrogen that needs to float up top as well as like a carbon dioxide out here that needs to be taken care of. Uh, now that I have two of these, I'm actually going to deconstruct this bad boy right here. Hopefully we'll be completely fine. Because if we actually look at our gas power, you can actually see that there's oxygen just flowing all over the place and that's actually awesome you can actually see that we're actually producing a lot more now it is just flowing all everywhere which is great um this system actually does not look like it's the best and i might actually fix this here because this is actually looking really really bad um you can see right now that there's just this full-on stoppage so i'm actually going to go up here maybe go like that and then pump it back here then what we can do is we can actually just deconstruct this. Let's see. Gas pipes right here. Just deconstruct you. And we'll have that system just flow a little bit cleaner. There's lots of oxygen for you guys to actually breathe in here. So you'll be fine now. You, I mean, it's, it's easier for you to breathe, just in general. Uh, let's deconstruct this wire that's just unnecessary. Same thing with for you. It's just completely unnecessary that you're right there. And, um, liquid pipe, gone. You, gone. <laughs> Let's just clean up a little bit. We got stuff all over the place. Oh, and we also got this new flower vase. That's right. We planted a new uh, flower. We should definitely put another briar seed. As well as maybe actually coming in here and, um, getting some of this other crap. So let's see, can we actually just get a harvest? Harvest that. Let's get some of this sleet wheat. I bet they need to be really cold in order to grow. Yeah, cold dwelling grass plant. Oh man. So if I want to actually harvest sleet wheat, do I actually go in here and actually create like a cold zone for them? Because I don't mind actually pumping in some of that water over here to keep it nice and clean and cold. But let's harvest it anyways. It'll be fine. I definitely want to get this wheezewort. Because, yeah, look at that. Weezwort seeds. If we actually plant that in here, we can actually keep this area nice and cool. We can actually plant it down here and help it keep cooler for them. Oh, ideas. Ideas are forming, and I am excited for them. Um, oxygen. I want to keep... I just want to make sure this oxygen is actually doing fantastic. And you can actually see it is. You can see that a lot of hydrogen is gone. I think the, the stuff that's actually here is just carbon dioxide. Yeah. The hydrogen right now is forming right there, as well as uh, pockets here. Again, that's fine. I don't care. We can actually maybe even um, insulate this now. Let's just insulate it completely. So this should reduce heat transfers from the walls. Awesome. Let's just get rid of all of that. There we go. Just insulate these walls. We don't have any more hydrogen except for right here, and I don't mind it being clumped up in this area. If we really, really want to, we could probably just build a quick gas um, pump just to suck it out. And I'll do that later. Right now, this isn't an area that we even use, so I I'm fine just leaving it as is. Oh man, I am excited about this. This is actually mind-blowing how much simpler this has become. We have like a pocket of hydrogen right here. But we're never going to go through this area. Carbon dioxide, I am a little, like, sad about. Maybe I should have it pump in. But right now, eh, don't care. Things are looking great. You can actually see how much hydrogen or oxygen we're actually pumping around the station. It looks fantastic. Let's actually look at our gas. Yeah, look at that. Pumping in. Just oxygen. It's br so breathable now. We have actually contaminated or contained all that hydrogen, which is great. Let's look at our... Um, Reports, we're producing 538 kilograms of oxygen. I actually understand. You guys keep yelling at me. It's like, kilograms is a thousand. No, I understand it. I, I understand that. But I'm only looking at this number. 
These two numbers should uh, equilibrium. If this said grams and this was kilograms, then yes, I'd be, you know, a little concerned. But right now, it's fine. We're also producing a lot more food now that we have continuous um, micro mushers going. So we should definitely start frying those up. And stress, stress is pretty bad. We've added 63%, but we removed it. Let's actually look at our vitals. Who's the most stressed out right now? Uh, I am by 39%. And uh, I don't know why. Let's see. Light wounds, dirty hands, tired. Oh, yeah, that's right. I've, I've gotten hurt. I've gotten hurt over time. I should definitely maybe start thinking about, like, putting in a uh, med bay. And right here, I believe, is the best place for it. So let's get a med bay going. Medicine. Let's do uh, cures most duplicate diseases. We don't have any diseases yet, so I'm going to leave that alone. Regenerator. Greatly accelerates the regeneration of wounded. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go medical cots right now. I don't think we need a regenerator. So let's just do that. We just put one in. And I eventually want this hand sanitizer, but it looks like we need bleach stone for that. And I don't know where that would even be. So actually, we should probably get two cots. Let's do two cots. Let's do one right here and one right here. And then why don't you guys have a, uh, a nice painting to look at while you're like getting yourselves healed? Let's also put another painting right here. Um, there's, you know, there's someone over here that's cooking constantly all the time. And there's nothing to look at except for this dirty floor and this machine. So maybe they, we should um, get a sweep order. Sweep everything up. All of it. Just sweep it all up. And uh, start filling these bad boys up. And they're almost full again. Oh, water. Let's, uh, let's mop that up. Why is there water all over the place? Goodness gracious. Oh, you know what? Now that I know that we don't have any... Yeah, look at this. We could probably actually just deconstruct this water pipe. There we go. Because we don't need it anymore. We don't. We definitely don't. And uh, we could probably... No, this, this needs to have water at all times, I think. I was thinking we could probably just have a closed system. But I think we definitely need more water. So yeah, we'll leave that alone. We'll let them deconstruct this water pipe because we don't need it anymore. Let's clean this all up. Let's just start cleaning our shit up in general. Yeah, I know you guys got soggy feet. That's fine. We should definitely do something with this poopy dirt. But yeah, right now, eh, we'll, we'll figure this out. I'm just really wait. Oh, man, Bristle Blossom, finally! We finally got ourselves our first Bristle Blossom. Oh my god. Very cool. Yeah, it's 100% irrigated. It's 100% fertilized. I think it actually likes being fer or irrigated. Because if we once we put it over here, it's like, uh-uh, no way. No, sir. Um, we have sleep wheat. And yeah, and so let's actually look at the sleep wheat uh, recommendations. It harvests in one cycle, or 20 cycles. It needs 150 grams minimum of air pressure. Right in here, it's actually at 337. Ooh. All right, we have a lot of air pressure, but it should be getting better. Um, here you go, temperature. It definitely needs to be cold, negative 40 to negative 31 Fahrenheit. That's freezing. It also doesn't need any water, and it doesn't need any fertilizer. So we could actually come over here if we really wanted to, and we can actually, actually just build some farm tiles. I actually kind of want to do that. Let's see, where's my tiles? Is it under food? Food. Let's do food. Okay, let's just, just do farm tile. Straight up farm tile. It doesn't need to be anything else. We'll put that sleet root right here. I just want to try it out and see what it does. Let's also um, dig a ladder here so we can actually harvest this uh, wheezewort. I'm excited to try this out. All right. How's our um, oxygen doing? We still haven't deconstructed this. Deconstruct that. Please. Yes. Just to there. Please deconstruct that. Oxygen. It's doing fine. It's doing phenomenal. Very cool. Very, very cool indeed. Alright. Perfect. Let's get a little bit of uh, carbon dioxide in here. But we're definitely still getting a lot of oxygen. It's definitely uh, pulling in. Maybe we should also think about getting <laughs> some more... Uh, air scrubbers in this area. It, right now, we don't need it. But I, it's something to consider. Alright. 
Now, it's definitely very cold over here. It also has a lot of carbon dioxide. Not the best. I don't think it really needs gas. Let's see. Let's look at this again. What did you need, sweet wheat? Did you need air? Do you need to breathe oxygen? I don't think so. It just needs air pressure. Doesn't say what kind of air it needs to be, so maybe it can grow in oxygen or in this carbon dioxide area. It's already growing there right now, so uh, let's see what it does. Let's see. As far as cooking goes, we can actually cook something now. Let's see. We could do a frost bun. Can we do a frost bun? Oh, we can. <gasps> you only have three. So let's see. And now we have a gristleberry. We have the one. Well, not even then. Pickled meals. Meal lice. Can I actually do that? I can. I can only make one. Okay, let's do one of those. Let's make one frost bun, because we can. Uh, we don't have any peppered bread. Oh, we do have a pinch of pe pepper nut. Or we don't. I thought we did. <laughs> it says one. Definitely don't have it. So let's, uh, let's just do one of each. And then let's do some uh, mush fries. Because we've got a lot of those going. All right. Uh, we should probably consider making this insulated, especially since uh, we'll be cooking a lot. And we definitely don't want that heat to transpire down. Um, actually, I might just do that. Yeah, like that. There we go. Perfect. So, yeah, this is going to get hot. This is going to get real hot. Yeah, 81 degrees. It's going to get really warm. And a lot of that heat is going to just come down here. Um, do I want another duplicate? Let's look at our oxygen. Oxygen? Looking good. It's breathable, su sufficient concentration, breathable gas. It's not like super high concentrated, so we're actually doing great. We have a lot of carbon dioxide, but we could definitely scrub that out here soon. Um, especially right here, we definitely need to do that in this area. Um, but so far, this is actually looking awesome. I think I might actually get another duplicate. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oops. Let's get this. Go here. Choose a duplicate. Let's see. We have Ren, Marie, and Bert. Ren is an interior decorator, so he has a high expectation. Dude, you're out. Uh-uh. Um, Marie is a bodybuilder. She's good at digging. She's good at construction and learning, and she's also super strong. She is gastrophobia. She doesn't cook. That's completely fine, though. We got lots of other people that can cook. And then, let's see, Bert has a bottomless stomach, but he is a grease monkey. I think I'm going to go with Marie. I'm just going to print you out. Let's get you a bed, Marie. Let's see. Cot, 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 cot. There we go. Perfect. Welcome aboard. You guys are working hard. For reals. Oh, there's water down here? What? Let's, let's mop this up. Uh, have you guys actually gotten rid of those? Yeah, pipes you did. Okay, good. Pipes are gone. Oh, there's also water down here too. How in the world is there water just all over the place? So when I deconstruct the pipes, does it just leak everywhere? Probably. There's a good, there's a good... There's a strong chance that's how it happened. It's all mopped up now. It's fine. Man, look at all that carbon dioxide. It is gross. Low concentration of gas. So yeah, there's, um... Let's get our gas. Our oxygen's going as fast as it can. Plumbing. Oh, is so even picking up the plumbing? What? Right, let's look at our reports. Yeah, we're definitely not making as much as we were before. And I think it's because of this. Right now, it's just not pulling water from this, which is stupid. Why are you not going? Why is water not going in there? Max gas pressure. Oh. All right. How do you relieve the pressure? Let's see. Let's see. Is it gas valve? Increase or decrease the gas volume in pipes to maintain ideal pressure. See, there's a lot of pressure in here. Once we get rid of this, maybe that's what's happening right now. We just have too much hydrogen in the system. It should be pumping a lot of the oxygen out. I think this is right here, too. This is where it's having a problem. This should be pumping out oxygen that's in this area, but it's not. 
Well, I mean, it might be. Pipe is blocked. Let's see. Oh, why are you blocked, dude? What is going on with this? It's just stuck here. Hmm. Maybe we need to deconstruct it. Let's see. Let's deconstruct this pipe. Gas pipe. Let's just do that. That should go in here. Feeling that this is what I want to do. Actually, let's cancel that. So we still have it going in here. Because we definitely don't need it to have it go in here. We could just have it pump through this area and come around. So I think that's where I'm doing it wrong. I think I just have too many pipes in this area. As far as oxygen goes, we definitely need to make more of it. Because as you can see, it's starting to get a little light on air. That's because there's too much pressure up here to begin with. We should be getting rid of a lot of this hydrogen. But right now, it's just stuck in these pipes. You can actually see that the pipes themselves are pretty bad. Like, it's just not removing any of it. So it's um. That's high priority is this. Like, super high priority. Let's get this as a high priority. Let's get this as a high priority. Alright, guys. Get to work. Actually, you know what? I'm going to cancel this until you guys get it done. Your lives are at stake. Every second counts. Every second counts that you're not getting this pipe done. Yep, better go faster, dudes. I know you're stressed out. That's just how it is. Oh, let's get this caught. Sign to Marie. Uh, let's make sure that where stress is not that bad. Max stress is at 50. Okay, yeah. Let's do that. Let's get it going, guys. I know you can't breathe, and I know it's, it's pretty hot up here. But again, this is something you have to do. There we go. Getting it done. Getting it done. Oxygen. Looking bad again. Again, pretty bad. Pretty bad. But we're, we'll get this going. We'll get this going. Oh, look at all that disgusting, disgusting stuff. Um, carbon dioxide is building up a lot. This air scrubber can only work so hard. We'll, we'll get this. We'll get this here soon. Stifled. Stifled. It's very hot, but we're going to do this. Right now, my whole priority is up here. You guys definitely need to get this going as quickly as possible. Circuit overloaded, finally. Finally got an overloaded circuit. Let's see what it looks like. It doesn't even look like an overloaded circuit. Oh, where is this overloaded circuit at? Right here? I guess. I guess that's the first overloaded circuit. It doesn't even look like it's strained. It just says this. I don't know what that means. So uh, I'm going to take a... Um, one of our commenters' advice is to lay this heavy-duty cord across the way. And then we'll actually um, convert that into electrical circuits. So let's do that. This was actually suggested to me, just lead, laying, laying down this heavy cord here. Stuff that they're not going to be really looking at. We want to have this area looking nice and pretty. Everything else is just, you know, gravy. Um, let's get this going. This is by far most important. You guys really need to get that going as soon as possible. We have 28,000 calories. That's so much calories right now. You can actually see that we actually have quite a lot of food. I'm really happy about that. All right, here we go. It's getting, it's almost done. It's almost done. Cause yeah, right now I think a lot of that concentration, uh, concentrated oxygen is right here in this area. Oh, what's that? What is that? What is this? Empty. What in the world is that? Why is it? That says oxygen. Carbon dioxide. Oh, carbon dioxide. Oh, yeah, it's because you guys are up here breathing. Aha. Uh -huh. That makes more sense to me now. All right, you guys are almost done. You're so close to being done. 
We just gotta get these last two bits done, and then we'll be fine. There we go. You're so close! You're so close! Oh, yeah, we're out of algae trams. That's cool. That's cool. Alright, do we do it? Are we done? There we go. Oxygen is now pumping back into the system. Let's see. It's low con- you know, low concentration, high carbon dioxide. Very, very high. Let's, uh, let's fix this. Gas premium tiles right here. Let's get that flowing down, please. But there it goes. There's that oxygen. There is all that sweet, sweet oxygen. Look at it coming down and just big numbers. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm so happy we finished that up. Um, we, we're adding only 350 kil kilograms of oxygen back into the system. We're removing 521. Uh, now that this is uh, all fixed up, we should be back in order. Made just enough calories for the day. Uh, I, I'm happy with that. As well as stress, we removed quite a lot of it. And I think it's because we have this massage table set for a lower standard of stress. It uh, maxes at 50 which is actually pretty good. We're still making a lot of polluted oxygen, but I don't know how to get rid of it. I definitely don't. We put it in these air deodorizers that's supposed to um, remove polluted oxygen. But it's not doing it. I don't know where it's supposed to go. But we'll, we'll figure out here in a second. Let's, uh, let's, see, let's do one more cycle. Let's check things out. Let's make sure everything's fine. You can actually see that we're getting that breathable gas back in here. High concentration of carbon dioxide because you guys are actually in here all the time. It should get forced out here soon. It seems like, yeah, a lot of it just kind of wells into these corners. But we'll, we'll definitely get rid of it here in a bit. Alright. I don't think there's any... I don't think these are gas per meal. Like, at all. They should be, but they're not. They should definitely start flowing downwards. If this is becomes uh, another area that is... Where the carbon dioxide just wells up. I'll have to make another gas per mule tile right here. But right now, I think we're fine. I think these actually may be breathable. These these uh these farm plots. We'll see. We'll definitely see. All right, I just want to see this going. See how well this is working. Because right now, it looks like it's working. It looks like it's working pretty well indeed. Yeah, a lot of this carbon dioxide is welling up right here. Let's um. Let's make one more gas per meal tile right underneath this. That should work out fine. The word is should. Again, that's you know, that's always how it is. Should work out, but does it? Not all the time. Very happy with this closed system that we made right here. Very happy with how it looks. Um, we do have this farm tile set up. So let's... um. Let's mop this up, because I don't want you guys stepping in this disgusting contaminated water all the time. And let's actually try to do some sleep. We're just going to do two. Let's see if it works. It's very cold in here. It's negative 16, 7. Let's see. I just want to see how it works. If it works, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. That's fine. I just want to see if it does or not. You guys are definitely doing things, so I'm happy with there. We don't have any more algae. We should probably consider actually digging up some more algae. Is there even any place that we can dig it out? That's dirt. Hmm. I mean, we could start start a algae farm using slime, but right now I don't want to deal with that at the moment. Uh, there's definitely a lot over here, so let's just dig this out. So let's dig you. Let's just dig you guys like that. Just like that. Circuit overloaded. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's getting overloaded too. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, electricity. It's definitely this right here. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to have another one of these heavy duty come like this. Yeah. We'll do it like that. Let's see if it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, we'll deconstruct wires. 
deconstruct that. Um, the same like right here. Let's see if that works. I don't know if it will, but I, people have commented to me, to me that this might actually be the case. Um, does this not go through here? It does not. Does it need to be regular tile? Might need a regular tile and not insulated. So let's, let's let that fix itself and then we'll um, try it out. So yeah, the decor probably looks awful. Oh god, it looks super bad. That's fine. You guys are not going to be down here all the time. You guys are going to be up here most of it. Uh, low concentration of gas. It's, it's getting there. Got a lot of this hydrogen up here. I might actually build myself a um, another gas pump to get rid of this hydrogen and then just have oxygen pump in. Let me do that now before we end this uh, recording session. I just think it's it's probably for the best just to get this out of here. So let's put it like right here. Let's get a... Um, I don't think we actually need a gas filter. We'll just have it pump straight into this. Look like this. Like that. And we'll build... Um, some more insulated tile right here. Perfect. And then we'll also need to get some power. Like this. Again, it doesn't need to be pretty. It just needs to work. Circuit overloaded in this area over here. Oh man, okay, so we're starting to see those circuit overloads. Um, and we'll definitely want to address this here soon. I just wish it would actually say it was strained or not. Because then I can actually see, oh, this is a problem. But it's not doing it at all. Like, I don't see these circuit overloads. It should, like, actually have a visual indicator that, yes, this needs to be taken care of. But right now, I'm just, it's not doing it. And, uh, hopefully this will help the kilowatts. So, yeah, we can see there's the max kilowatts of 200 circuit being used. It's 1.2. This has a max kilowattage of 1,000. So, I don't understand. Is it just, there's a thousand going into this one, or... This, it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know. We'll figure it out here in, in a second. Uh, I think this is where I'm going to leave it off for today. There's been a lot of stuff that we've been doing. Um, hopefully this should... long-term be more, or, you know, sufficient. So yeah, there's another one right here. It's this one. I don't want to run too much of this heavy wattage wire because I want this just to be clean and looking. Um, and yeah, there's a lot up here that's just being gross. And I want this to be like a more another living area if I can because we're, we're definitely getting a lot more duplicates and we need to have them move somewhere. And it's I, I definitely want to do it like right here. So we'll leave that be. Uh, let me know if you have suggestions or any comments and tips that you want to leave me below. Uh, I am Jasmine, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!